High Performance Habits How Extraordinary People Become That Way By Brendan Burchard This was the one book that changed my life. In this video, I would go straight to my big takeaways from this book. I have shared my experiences about moments leading up to the point when I read this book as well as a little background information in part 1 of this video. Do check it out. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you are informed when I put out new amazing videos like this one. In his book, High Performance Habits, Brendan identified six habits that are not necessarily innate in everyone, but are developable through effort. Habit number one. Seek clarity. Brendan asserts that most high performers know exactly where they are going. They are very clear about who they want to be, how they want to live their lives and what they want to do in this lifetime. With very strong levels of clarity, you can easily tell when you are falling off track. For instance, you want to be a prolific copywriter, but you are spending all your time at the drama studio. If you are truly clear about what you want to achieve, you would be able to catch yourself much sooner than the average person. Clarity is not a day's job. It is something you continue to discover as you grow in life. So, I recommend having a journal, I recommend affirmations, I recommend using your imagination. See yourself living the life you want and feel it. Do everything it takes to ensure that you do not forget who you are, what you want to do or where you want to go in life. Habit number two. Generate energy. Everything in life is energy. Thoughts, emotions, everything. And the truth is, we don't have an infinite supply of it. High performers hardly burn out, and this is because they are very conscious of their energy levels. And they do what they need to do to keep the cup full. So, to improve physical energy, they exercise regularly and eat healthily. To improve mental energy and focus, some of them practice meditation, yoga, gratitude. Do what works for you. For emotional energy, they stay happy. They generate positive emotions as much as they can and decide the emotion of an environment or conversation. Most people let their environment or outcome of a conversation decide how they feel. And this is not the best way to take charge of your life. Habit number three. Raise necessity. Have you wondered why it is easy to put off reading sessions at the beginning of a semester, but when exams are close, you are suddenly punctual to those sessions? The only thing that changed was that your necessity was raised. And all of a sudden, you realize that you just have to pass the exam. The more necessary an activity is, the more likely it is that such an activity will get done. A lot of things are a must for high performers and this is one of the reasons, they do well. They bring their best to the table. Find a strong reason why you have to accomplish a certain goal. Keep that reason in your thoughts. Even write it down. You are much more likely to achieve that goal than someone who has not identified a reason. Habit number 4. Increase productivity. Brendan said that without high levels of productivity, the possibility of success is bleak. High performers on average scored a 4.6 on this test. When I took Brendan's increased productivity test, I scored a 2.67. The entire test was a wake-up call for me. I realized that I needed to begin getting more things done every day. Not just more things, but more important things. Brendan said that research showed that high performers identify what is more important and dedicate more time and energy to that task. Habit number 5. Develop influence. This one is quite self-explanatory. If you want to be successful, you have to realize that you cannot do it on your own. Hardly anyone gets there alone. You need people. And if you cannot bring people to believe in what you do, or trust that you know what you are doing, then they won't support you, invest in you, or even give you that job or promotion. You will be in a position where you would have to do everything alone. And quite frankly, it is hardly possible to do it all alone. The people who climb to the top of corporate ladders, or run the most successful businesses are very skilled in their interaction with people and demonstrate great leadership qualities. So, if you are behind in this area of your life, now is a good time to start. Habit number 6. Demonstrate courage. High performers deeply believe in what they do, so they are not shy to say it out for the world to hear. They speak up when they need help, they ask questions, they contribute. They are not afraid to try. They are not paralyzed by a fear of making mistakes. They live their truth. 
and they do so courageously. Of course, it would be impossible to cover the entire content of this book in one video, so I suggest you get a copy of the book for yourself. Take Brendan's Test. It is free and it is online. It changed my life and I hope it changes yours too. If you have already read the book, comment, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave us a like and share this video with your loved ones. As always, stay energized.